Well, uh, we have decided to adopt gross national happiness as a paradigm for the measurement of societal advance, advancement. We felt that the GDP is uh, only a partial, it fulfills only a partial requirement that the ultimate objective of every human being is to be happy. Now, to become happy, you need more than material uh, wealth alone. You need also the spiritual well-being. So, His Majesty the King, sometime in the 1980s, coined the term gross national happiness. Uh, while happiness is a very subjective matter, we felt that as, as a responsible state, it was our duty to create the conditions within which people can be happy. And therefore, we have uh, come up with, let us say, four pillars which are very, very vital for in, uh, the happiness. And the first of this is equitable social economic development. If you're hungry, if you're poor, you cannot be happy. You need good health, you need education. Uh, the second is the conservation of the environment because that ensures sustainability. You know, passing what we have to the future generations, etc. So, conserving environment is very important. The third is the preservation of one's culture. We believe that culture is very important. And in fact, it is the soul of Bhutan. This is what makes Bhutan, Bhutan. It is our national identity. And it is also what determines values. And values are very important if you have to be happy. And uh, the fourth, the so-called pillar for gross national happiness is what we term good governance. Because without good governance, firstly, none of the other pillars can be realized. And secondly, there should be equity and justice in society. People should be uh, included in the, 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 uh, the decision-making process. So as a result of this uh, firm belief uh, in these uh, four pillars of, uh, of uh, the gross national happiness, uh, we have uh, done very well in conserving our culture, our environment, and in the kind of government that we have here. So ultimately, His Majesty the King, even to have an in uh, inclusive government, he passed power to the people and introduced democracy as the ultimate requirement for gross national happiness.